The latest quest, bicycling 1,500 kilometers down the length of New Zealand's South Island. I'll roughly be following the Tour Aotearoa cycling route while also carving my own path down the South Island. Most exhilarating is that this will be the maiden voyage of my trusty new steed, a Kona Sutra LTD. This bike is a unique, category-shattering steel drop bar 29. I know it sounds absurd, but if you had a mountain bike, touring bike, and gravel bike hybrid, this would be it. bikepacking mode with the setup this time, outfitting the Freedom Vessel with a Brooks Cambium saddle and feed bags by Revelate Designs, top tube and handlebar harness and lunchbox bags by Oveja Negra, and of course, my custom handmade full frame bag by my Kiwi partner, Jim. So this is the start of Haas Pass, not a lot of cars, which is nice, it's about 7 a.m. Only goes up from here. Here's the view, gorgeous river valley. This is Lake Wanaka. Trusty steed. And this is the neck. I'll zoom in. That's my road right there. All the way up that mountain. I crested down to Queenstown and cruised into the Adventure Haven. This was a day to remember because I hopped aboard a century-old steamship and I crossed the lake on the historic TSS Earnslaw. The ship pulled up to a remote station called Walter Peak and I was the only passenger to get off board. This would be the longest riding day of my entire trip. At about 8.30 p.m., I finally called it a day at Navora Lakes, which is a famous film setting seen in Lord of the Rings. This was a day that would forever stand out in my bikepacking journeys, traveling down the gravel bliss towards Bluff. Of course, the cycling gods always have the last laugh, and I received my first and only puncture of the trip nearly six kilometers from the finish line. After 13 days on the bike, I arrived at the bottom of New Zealand at the Bluff signpost, and before I knew it, began dreaming of what's next.